Wolfenstein 3D was released in 1992. It was made by id Software. It's considered the grandfather of the first-person shooter. Basically, we're taking the origins of Wolfenstein and bringing it into the next gen. So things visually are way more over the top, but we're still dealing with Nazis, zombies, monsters, all that cool stuff that you saw in the original Wolfenstein. We've added something called the veil, a bridge between the supernatural and the occult directly to our character. It's filled with all sorts of creatures that are floating around and everything is all dark and wispy. You can only be there for a little while, but when you're there, you're very powerful. You move a little faster, your enemies are highlighted, you can walk through walls. You can slow down time and basically use that to get around some of the enemies. In the end, it still is about using your guns, big combat, big explosions, but we thought that this was a perfect way to really enhance the combat of the game. We looked at some of the weapons that were big hits in uh, Wolf 3D and Return to Castle Wolfenstein. We took the flamethrower, put it in our game, and cranked it up another notch. We've also added some other more science fiction weapons that you don't normally see in a World War II game. We have a particle cannon, for example. It can disintegrate enemies and have them scream. It's really one of the most fun weapons to ever play. We've been really conscious here at Raven, looking at the legacy and then trying to continue along those lines and develop the weapons, but to keep that heart and soul that is Wolfenstein. As the games have evolved, we've seen the character grow of B.J. Blazkowicz. He's turned from this sort of faceless, nameless person into a soldier, and then in the latest game, he's become more of a soldier spy. He's still that all-American, every man type character. He's exciting, he's heroic. He gets his fist dirty, and he kicks ass. This time around, with the veil, we've been able to introduce a whole brand new type of creatures that only live in this place. The Despoiled is actually one of the human characters that gets changed over time by some unforeseen things that will be divulged later. It makes them a little more powerful and kind of mindless, which is a little scary. We put as much personality on the other characters as we can, and we let BJ just be whoever the player is that's actually driving the game. franchise, uh, I think, has a special place in a lot of people's hearts. And over the years, that has consistently evolved. If you're an older fan coming in with memories of the previous games, you're going to really like the nostalgia, the feelings, the remembrance of characters, and, and that sort of thing. I think as a newer fan, you're going to get introduced to fast action, big combat, really powerful weapons, interesting characters, and things like that. The previous game was five, six years ago now. Technology has come a long ways, and we've been able to do things that you could never have done before. There was a lot of expectations for us to continue this license with the power that it deserves and the love that it deserves. So having the opportunity to work on it has just been really awesome.